Um, I have with me today Ms. Suzette Brown. Suzette is the uh, TAP GPS coordinator at Fleet Family Support Center. Yeah. And uh, among uh, other things that she does over there, but I brought her in today to help me talk about um, TAP GPS because while I'm not an expert, I am a customer of the class. So I want to talk about some of the benefits and, and some of the stuff that even myself after 32 years in the Navy, I'm gaining from going to this class. So we're going to talk about TAP GPS and how it is a benefit and an investment in you and it is not a chore. Uh, how many times do you hear the 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 feedback or the, the drawbacks is that, you know, people talking about coming to TAP GPS before they get there? It's funny. Scared. Yeah, it, well, yeah, they're scared and it's funny because one of the first things I ask, why are we here? Why are you guys here today? And they'll just stand there, sit there and look at me and I say, other than it's federally mandated and you're required, <laughs> you know, because you need to think about how you're going to prepare for your transition. And it's not just you. For a lot of people, it's not just that service member. It's family members. It's spouses. So it's a lot to prepare and to get ready for that transition, especially if it's a, a separation only. Um, retirement, you have a little stipend, you know, something to fall back on, but a lot of separatees, they do not. So there's a lot of preparation when it comes to making that next step. I always say writing that next chapter. When should somebody go to TAP GPS well, and when should they go back if they should? Separatees, it's, it's recommended at 12 months and retirees is recommended at 24 months. And, and that's mainly because of benefits and things that you're entitled to that, you know, of course, the separatee is not, that may take a little bit longer uh, to prepare for. And so, and then it's recommended also to come back within six months of your separation, uh, you know, the date that you're walking out the door. Because the information may have changed, or if it hasn't changed, it's just a refresher to make sure that you're on track. And one of the things that we hand out during TAP is a, is a milestones checklist, and it starts at the 24-month point point mark and it has different tasks different milestones that you should have met by a certain time frame we have checklists and we have you know um, time charts and schedules to follow Absolutely. and we've invested so much into our mission vision goals of our commands policy and the the Navy's goals and the CNO's tenants and um, investing that time in ourselves and using that same kind of format mm -hmm. that GPS has prepared uh, you know for us to do really does make this a little less overwhelming because there's a lot to think about when you separate let alone retire don't wait for things to happen to you make them happen for you